This is a series of videos that show the workings of my hybrid rolling ball clock. I'm calling this a hybrid simply because I chose to make some of the parts uh, 3D printed plastic instead of cutting them out of MDF. Uh, this video will just be a high level overview with later video videos going into more detail. If you're here for great videography or witty banter, you're in the wrong place. But uh, if you like mechanical things, this might be of interest to you. Uh, I came across this clock a few years ago on YouTube, and I'll link to the original video in that description in my description below. Uh, my version is basically the same as the original, so uh, I encourage you to watch that one, and uh, it does a good job of explaining everything and how the clock works. Um, I was really intrigued by the complexity of it and the compactness of the, of the design. I'll give you some reference here. Here's just a soda can and uh, you can see it's overall pretty small footprint. Uh, it also has a chiming feature which is kind of unique to ball clocks and it, it kind of reminded me of the old mousetrap game so uh, the more complexity the better I guess. Uh, the clock was brilliantly designed by a gentleman in South Africa named Andrew Yates. Um, I couldn't figure out how the clock worked in its entirety just by watching his video. Uh, so of course that made me want to find out more about it. And uh, I decided to try to contact Mr. Yates to see if he had any documentation on it or uh, any more information. And he very kindly sent me his original 2D drawings. Uh, those drawings contained about 250 lasered parts and uh, a number of small layouts. Um, I then extruded all of those parts into 3D and I was able to create this 3D model of the clock which was really very helpful to me. Uh, you can see I can zoom in on it, I can rotate around uh, look at the back side. I can turn parts on and off. Uh, so that was really helpful in, in being able to make the clock. Uh, and uh, without it, I don't think I could have finished it. Uh, it took me about a month of work to get to that point, and I probably watched his video about a hundred times. Um, but they gave me a good understanding of how it worked, so uh, that was all good. Uh, I was impressed before doing all this work uh, with the design and uh, I'm even more impressed now. It's, it's just a great piece of Mechanica. Uh, the clock is basically split into two sides. The left side handles the time timekeeping and the right side and the rear of the clock perform the chiming functions. And all this is basically accomplished with a small electric gear motor that you see up in the upper right hand corner here in the back. Uh, a couple of springs, gravity, and uh, 40 steel balls. Uh, this design includes ramps and ladders, uh, elevators, counterweights, gears, labyrinths, towers, diverters, seesaws, pawls, and a ratchet wheel all in this one design. Uh, so if you're interested in seeing more, check out the next video in the series.